the bad. If the militia doesn't win, then we just have to fight you. Meet Larry the Wombat and Brian Deegan, who represent the self-proclaimed metal militia. Larry's all about the evil. With the bloodthirsty rants of Rob Zombie and a hell-raising performance from Limp Biscuit, evil looks to be the clear favorite. Who will win? Anyone who can survive. His rib is sticking out. Okay, first up, we got Brian Deegan. Explain to me what the Metal Militia is. What is this thing? They can't even spell Pete, it. Right. I, I don't even know what the Metal Militia is. It's, it's Brian Deegan, letter, Larry Linkago. I think it's about pretty much hate everyone and, and don't care. Well, basically, the Metal Militia is just a death cult that's going to dominate the world by year 2000. So between me and Larry, we're just spreading the word. It's like you pretty much have to be a pretty screwed up kid to be down with the militia. We got Brian Deegan coming out here first. First rider. Yeah. There goes Brian. He's ripping. All right, well, we're Who's Brian. he riding to? He's jamming to some Slayer. Riding for Satan. Now, Rob, none of these riders you're doing this heavy metal or, or, you know, maybe some jump time. You know, what do you know? What do you think? Uh, I think the metal works good for these guys. Yeah. Notice he's number 665. So it's not that bad, but wait till you see he's his older He's a brother. neighbor, neighbor of the beast. Big no-handed helmet grab. Making sure his helmet and everything was okay. His goggles were adjusted. No, not really. Talk to me about why they are doing things in the air other than just holding onto their bike, Benny. Why? Why? Well, I think it came to it, you know, just from, you know, in racing, you got to wait for the whole day till, you know, the final lap of the event for someone to show off, maybe do a little cross up. Well, these guys are just taking a little farther. They've uh, taken the BMX moves, the Superman, the Knack Knack, the Can Can, and they just put it in the motocross. You know, these guys, they're getting bigger air than a lot of guys do. Um, and they're just going off huge. Sure, All right. A little Superman air. It just, it, it's perfect for motocross, because motocross guys, you know, you're jumping 100 feet, you're in the air 30 or 40 feet, compared to, uh, you know, a lot of smaller stuff, maybe on a bicycle, you got a lot more time. Superman seat grab. Is that safe that he takes his feet off? Of course it's not safe. That's why I'm sitting up here speaking with you two gentlemen. <laughs> I race in a closed course. I go in a straight line. Look at that. He wants to do a no hand lander, but it, it just didn't work for him right there. Here's the first jump right here, Danny. Explain to me why somebody would do this. Somebody in their right mind. What kind of madman would pull such a stunt? Superman C grab. Look at that. The extension is just ridiculous. He's completely off the back of the bike. What if he lets so, go? What he's, happens? He's 30 or 40 feet in the air and he's just floating off the back of the bike. Big whip it. Knack knack with a little whip. That's a little harder. There's a lot of little things. You don't see. So because, basically, uh, because one false move, this guy's hamburger. Nearly vertical. Right, he's got the bike straight up and down. Dave, you big exhaust-sucking freak. What's going on down there in the pit? You feel like taking this thing and just like driving it through the gates and wiping out about 25 people? <laughs> you got the idea. Actually, I want to hit the kicker sideways, land in the crowd, and decapitate about 10 people. I hear you. Right on. Right on. I guess we're going to start off right. with Kerry Hart, the Las Vegas kid. Well, Kerry Hart, scary dude. The guy's got mad scars on his bum. Yeah, I the mean, biggest there's a lot kid. of pain in this sport, right? A lot of pain. leather face. <laughs> yeah, you, you break bones, they pop out of the skin. You got to stitch it up. You know, you break a bone, you have to put a rod in. You got to stitch it up. So that leaves a lot of scars. Show me, show me some pain. <laughs> okay. Carries the mat. <laughs> he goes off. He uh, actually was on tour all summer with the Warp Tour, so he got a chance to practice all this Wait, stuff. Wait, did you say he's the man? Well, he is one of the man. Oh, that's good. I always wondered who the man is. Well, now you know. Who's, I, who's he riding to? Let's see who Death he's riding Tones for. Action? The Death Tones, my own summer. Burp, burp. Is that any affiliate yours there, Rob? Nope. Nope. And the answer is no. Oh, there we go. Death Tones, my cards. Big nothing. And when I say that, didn't mean he didn't do anything. He just let go of everything. I didn't see it. Do did, it again. Did he wave to it. you, Denny, as he went by? He did wave to me. I think he's mocking you, going, hey, arena boy, you're pretty rad, no. but you won't jump like this. He, do this? He stayed at my house. He has nothing to stay to okay, so Ran, ran to, to the camera. cameraman. Let's go down there and check out the carnage. He'll get mass respect from his buddies, but that was tough. I think he should be the winner just for that move right there. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's got a little pain. I think he hurt his wrist or something. Uh, let's hope he's all right. I think this is a good lesson for all the kids at home that alcohol and Deftones and motorbikes do not mix. That is not a combination you want to take out on the field with you. A little carnage there, Rob. That, that's not too bad. You might have seen a bone That was good. Out. I think I saw a bone crack. Let's no, check out the, the replay here. And here
here he comes straight at the cameraman. There's the cameraman, and he's into the cameraman. Oh, that's and gotta the, leave a mark. Yep. This is, uh, that was one notch up from uh, catcher cam in the play. He sees his eyes, he sees the bowl, he hits the bowl, they're See down. There, jackass. Oh. You like the crash? I like the crash. <laughs> Just Which reminds me of Evil Knievel, Snake River Canyon, back in the day. Gee, he was standing on the downside of the double. You wanted Carnage, rider number two, we already have Carnage. We're gonna check out Rob Zombie coming up on stage a little later. We got some more riders, it's gonna be good, right? It's gonna be excellent, we got Larry Lee and Coggle. Sick, all these little sellout with bleached hair and earrings.